Robert, how are you? I like your question. All right, I had the answer before you asked it, um, which kind of goes against the whole principle of wanting to uh, get comfortable with answering questions. Um, but maybe not, I don't know, we'll find out. I'll answer a whole lot of more questions. I already realize how bad I am at it, because it's hard for me to uh, immediately come up with a question for somebody. I like things to unfold, you know? But uh, I should try I should try more ways. I should try more ways than my way, right? Um, so I have uh, discovered a uh, essentially a genie in a bottle. And with the power of malt liquor, I have, uh, I have released it. And uh, that genie offers me a, uh, a wish. What do you want, Earl? You get one wish. Standard rules apply. What is it? I knew immediately. I want the power to travel in time and space. First of all, that is just an awesome thing to be able to do. Um, for instance, I want to be in Disneyland tomorrow. I don't want to be in Disneyland 50 years uh, in the past. That's cool. That's awesome. I speak the language. Um, so it's an awesome recreation uh, opportunity. But I want to do more than that, actually. Um, first of all, I would take advantage of um, my uh, ability to research the past and uh, make billions of dollars. <clears throat> and actually, I don't actually like money. I don't want it. Um, so I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't keep any of it. What I would do is. Uh, I would start institutions of learning, you know, kind of like how corporations run, in that uh, I would uh, would get it started with a stream of income. That uh, stream of income would, uh, you know, based on investments or uh, my uh, knowledge of where large amounts of gold, oil, or uh, precious minerals are located, and uh, I don't know. I would. Uh, I would start organizations that would collect that and then funnel that into uh, education. And uh, the education would have uh, the idea is that the educational uh, resources, the, the colleges for uh, military, uh, study of religion, um, education in all aspects of, uh, of, of humanity, uh, not just you know from philosophy to uh, uh, business, um, you know how to become a monk. Or how to run a prison. Um, I would uh, I would encourage all those forms of learning. Uh, and actually, when I thought of that, I would encourage uh, uh, the study of uh, um, the military arts. Um, I realized that uh, the more intelligent and the better educated, no matter what the field, those fields aren't going to vanish. Um, so if they're not going to vanish, the people there should have access to the best education they possibly could get. And uh, everybody that gets educated at my, uh, at uh, the Earl universities uh, would have to donate uh, part of their income for the rest of their life, a small amount. Um, that would go back into uh, the university and that university would then also search out people who are interested in learning. Um, and the object would be eventually to get to the point where absolutely anybody that said, I want to learn something, they'd say, show up tomorrow. Um, I had other ideas of what I would do with my search through time. Um, part of it is just I want to have fun. I want, I want to have a cabin uh, in the woods that I build myself um, <laughs> in, in, in the deep dark past. I, I, I won't tell you where. Um, and But I also thought that uh, how would I take advantage of my knowledge of the past, and uh, how would that benefit humanity? And I thought it, um, education for all who want. Um, and then I also thought as a, a project that would be 
kind of like Superman if Superman never actually showed up at the crime. I would want um, every mindless crime, every act of insanity, every uh, every useless bit of destruction. Um, I'd want to inform whoever was in charge of uh, uh, keeping people safe, enforcing the law, um, protecting others. I'd want them to know about it beforehand. Um, but I'm, I'm, I, I wouldn't want to try to, uh, you know, save uh, important people from assass assassination. Or uh, it's it's not that as much as uh, I want. I don't want to change history. I just want. I if, but if there's if there's useless, um, terrible uh, destruction and uh, crimes against humanity taking place, um, if they're pointless, uh, then I, I would want to try to uh, uh, keep them from happening. But um, I also recognize that there is a point to suffering and there is a point to violence. And um, people do die for a reason, even if it seems uh, inexplicable. Um, sometimes we suffer just to know how hard suffering is and when we know it, that makes us want to keep it from happening. So a world without suffering would teach us that, uh, um, I don't know, that uh, our peace of mind uh, isn't as valuable as it is. Um, it would teach us that, uh, um, that we don't need to be mindful of the repercussions of our actions and uh, the... Uh, I don't know them, the health of, uh, of our community. So, yeah. Travel through time and space. And it would be, I, I guess I hit heavy on uh, how I would want to uh, help mankind, but I don't, actually don't see that as being anything more than like 10% of my time. Like if I could travel through time and space, uh, seven days can incorporate 70 years. Um, and I would immediately contact people to do the work for me. Um, and then I would jet off to uh, watch, uh, I don't know, like great events of uh, humankind unfold. Some amazing, hum humanity's done some amazing things. And if I could just appear there and see it, I'd do it. I'd love it. Oh man, I just had a gigantic dinner. I feel so full. I feel so good. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Hammered, that was a great question. And uh, my question to you is, uh, I kind of want to know uh, more about your life, uh, what it's like. And I was trying to think of how to phrase that. Um, what is your day like? What is your week like? Your month, your year? What is it like living in your... Uh, your city, your apartment building, your country. Um, so I guess what I'm asking is, uh, what is it like to be hammered? All right, hammered. Boom. I'll see you in the tubes.